I am an American artist born in Peru with a degree in fine arts and human rights from Borough of Manhattan Community College, Hunter College, and the Academy of Art University in the United States who loves art and teaching. Since I was 16 years old, I have had the privilege of having experience in teaching art education and other subjects in various settings of education, such as public and private schools, universities, and museums. My roles as educator have been as a teacher professor, teaching assistant, intern, and volunteer. My previous experience in New York City began 25 years ago. I have had students from pre-K to undergraduates and graduates from various economic and ethnic backgrounds. Study plans that they have developed have frequently been related to artistic education's benefits with creativity, knowledge, and science. I have been allowed to develop the technical skills of the students, stylistic process, and themes that I have been adjusting to the definite plans of educational institutions. My academic assistance to educational institutions is supported by my experiences and constant research on the arts. Reflecting on my internship, I was teaching assistant for Professor Simon Carr and the Human Figure I class for university students at the Public University Borough Manhattan Community College in New York. The final award are excellent and reflects the educative plan by the professor and syllabus provided by the university. In my experience as a professor developing my thesis project, the Magical Future Landscape Program, I must summarize that the students' awards are the results of the application of the proposed curricular plan, which reveals the objectives achieved by the students and by the educator. In the Magical Future Landscape, I have evidence that all the program students achieved excellent works of art, creativity, and their compositions. Therefore, it shows that creativity is innate. The program is an invitation to creative actions and the process, knowledge, and concepts of the techniques and art history are obtained. Art is related to the perspective on color theories but with the use of technology applies, science can give great support to human creativity in art. Benefits of art. As our professor the eight studies of its own mind, developed craft, engaged, persistent vision, express, observe, reflex, stretch, explore, understand our worlds, describe the thinking that as teacher, I intend for my student to learn during the process of creating. And I will develop three benefits that are most important for the students and for my perspective educative. This are creativity, cognition, and science. Our students in classroom, if they achieve being artists, will benefit from being artists who have developed skills and abilities to paint, sculpt, dancing, or add develop permanent learning knowledge, critical thinking, problem solving, and so on. And those who do not become artists and have other traits will be able to obtain learning, knowledge, development, critical thinking, problem solving, and more for a lifetime. Uh, my primary evidence is reflecting on my internship. Uh, in my experience as professor developing my project, the creative work developed with knowledge of techniques and without knowledge of techniques show us the evidence that creativity is ignited in the individual. For example, if I compare the initial artwork done by students with no knowledge taught by the program with the final artworks of the student after having obtained the teaching knowledge of the program, both show us the student's creativity is evidently there. For example, the magical future landscape, I have evidence that all the promised students achieved excellent works of art creatively on their compositions. And yes, 
There are differences in the final finishes when they use tools and techniques of art, which are totally independent of creativity. For example, I have experienced that in these two groups, some developed their manual skills using technology as an art tool to express themselves, and they managed to complete it with excellent works of art. For example, the student used PowerPoint and the paint program. At the same time, others used acrylic paint as art tools, and their artworks seem incomplete because they require more time to refine. This group shows that they need more training time to develop their skills. Therefore, it shows that creativity is innate. Innate. And the program is an invitation to creation at and to creative in action. In the process, knowledge and concepts of the techniques and art history are obtained. The museums and the visit to the community environment of the students bring them closer to feeling that they are part of this society and they can develop some futuristic idea for the city community perhaps just for the pleasure of seeing beautiful and different from the city. The parks, buildings, and modern cities are examples of the creativity recreational parks, such as those of Walt Disney Central Park in New York, or city built futuristically, such as Dubai, are examples of human creativity. Art is related to perspective and color theories, but with the use of technology, applied science can give a great support to the human creativity and art. Uh, my secondary evidence of the three benefits are the most important for me, creativity, cognition, and science. And the creativity uh, I mentioned, very important, taking focuses, process of forming original ideas through exploration and discovery. Creativity is not about doing something better than others. It is about thinking, exploring, discovering, and imagining. Creativity is found in art and music, but can also be in science and play. The pre-zero exploration of creativity uh, from uh, Harvard University describes these two waves. The cognitive benefits. The arts are valuable and standalone subject matter and the perfect link between all subject matter and an excellent delivery system for these concepts. You can see this and the correlation between drawing and geometry or between the matter and time signatures, math concepts such as fractions. The fun or high correlation between students involved in art and create academic achievement. For the findings show that art nurture motivation to learn by emphasize active engagement, discipline, and sustained attention, persistent and risk taking among other competencies. Science, science is equal in art. They are the same. Both science and art are human attempts to understand and describe the world around us. Subject methods have different traditions and intent audience are different, but I think the motivation and goals are fundamentally the same. Conclusion. Uh, finally, I can say the knowledge I have learned in university classes has, has helped me in my academic training as an educator. I have been able to develop my internship with my thesis project in my computer landscape where it has been shown that creativity is ignite. Projection futurists help students connect and project themselves with their communities to students, benefiting from the development of their creativity or knowledge and relationship with science to the use of technology. This relevant experience that I have had in art education from the internship and my program as evidence for continuing teaching. I will share my passion and love to teach students who want to share their privileged imagination and share the dream of their future achievements and projects and futuristic and projected to bring about change in their communities. Thank you.